up YouTube? So uh, here's the new daily. It's actually the first truck I've ever bought new off the lot. So I'm super, super happy about it. It's got everything I want. Um, if y'all, some of y'all might've seen my first couple videos I've ever made, or maybe my, my couple first Instagram posts. I used to have a blue single cab. It was a 07 Silverado. It was like a new bicycle, so 07 to 13 style. And uh, it was dark blue like this, lowered. And uh, single cab, it was on a 6.9, on a 22 inch high rocks. That was actually my, I, I built that, I mean, I got it stock and you know, that was my first, I guess, real build. And uh, ever since then, you know, I've always liked the color silver. So I've had, you know, silver trucks, black of course. And uh, I've always wanted to get another blue truck. But every time I go to look, I couldn't ever find one that was, you know, had everything I want and was also blue. So uh, this is actually, everything I wanted on a truck. Uh, this is a 2020 Silverado RST Texas Edition. Um, it's got everything I need, literally blind spot monitor. And I'll tell you why I needed that. Um, Cause obviously I'm gonna tint the fuck out of the windows. So I really like the blind spot monitor feature. I think that's dope. Um, Cause I, sometimes I'm at night, you know, it's raining and whatever. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. And I would roll down the windows. I just got in the habit of it. I'm still, I don't have tint on it right now. And I'm, I'm literally rolling down the windows when I turn at night, I'm just, I'm so in the habit of it. I've always had limo on all my windows, you know, for all my cars. So I'm just kind of used to it. But you kind of see there's a little blind spot thing there. Check out this feature. This is, I just saw this this morning. You click this button here and every fucking window rolls down. Unfortunately, I don't know if it goes up. I haven't figured that part out. So I'm going over here still to do that. But, uh kind of cool I think so if I see a cop I guess I, I mean I had the exemption but still it's just a pain in the ass um, another thing yeah, it's 200 or I guess 187 miles on I got it last night at the 111 they just drove it from dealership to dealership trying to sell it this uh, at El Dorado by the way I'm, great dealership highly recommend them by the way um, I'll put my service guys or my sales guys at uh, information in this description actually. So if you want a good deal, El Dorado, the last three trucks I've bu I bought. So the, or I guess not bought, but I guess I bought a Sierra, 14 Sierra, 16 Silverado, and of course now the 2020. They've beat every deal dealership by like three or four K, literally. And I and I can't even get a dealer to come close. And I got this is a manager special as well. I don't know what that means or how it's a manager special beyond me but badass deal um got all the sensors uh bed liner which i'm happy with um it's just kind of dirty so it's it's not splotchy i promise it's just dirty in the back um just like dust and shit um probably wondering why the fuck do you have leather or cloth seats and not leather um i hate leather i would actually pay more for cloth if cloth wind up being more um i'm just not a fan got these weird little cubbies on both sides so got some storage down here and these mats are really cool i i, I don't know if they're weather tech or what but they kind of they interlace i mean it's coming out a little bit i think they had washed it before they did it but anyway so they interlace which is kind of cool they're rubber so you know you're not gonna get stains and shit in your carpet cool i I think all my other crew cabs have never had AC in the back, so I got AC now, uh, USB ports, and with that thing, after cigarette lighter thing. Um, pretty cool. Kind of like this, but I'm probably gonna wind up taking all those panels off and maybe wrapping it, or maybe keep it like this. It is kind of classy, but I like like the darker wood. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's got some, I, think it's, I mean, it's got like Bluetooth, the radios. I mean, I think the radio is pretty dope. The whole center console setup is pretty dope. Um, what was like, oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, is, this is this open my tailgate? What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. If somebody could tell me what this button if this button is i know this is auto start so I'm the stupidest invention in the world um somebody knows how to turn that off permanently let me know and no you can't just do that it only turns it off while you're driving or, or until i start again it's going to come back on 
I hate that shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, here, fuck, what am I doing? Come in to go this way. Camera. Camera's super, super HD. This is pretty cool. Um, got the uh, remote start, or I guess push button, I'm sorry. It does have a remote start though as well. Um, I think that's kind of dope. So there's literally no key unless you know you get locked out. It has like the key that's built in here that you can press this little button to get out. Um, so I got this truck, y'all, for $38,500 off the lot. Tax, title, license, everything. Um, I think because I, I, I didn't buy it cash. I actually financed a little bit on this one. Um, I Because I got all my money tied up in that fucking Dodge that the transmission is bad in. So uh, once I sell that, I'll, I'll probably pay this truck off. Um, so I did have to finance a little bit. I think the finance interest was like 2K. So I'm, that puts me at around 40. And I spent an additional $2,000 for, so it comes with a, I think a six year, 50,000 mile warranty on, on everything. But I upgraded it to 100,000 miles. Um, Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm so paranoid right now with the whole transmission breaking in three days. Um, and I'm also gonna t give you all a story about that on my next video. Uh, what we found out about that trans because we're doing some stuff with it at work but uh yeah so anyways i paid 38 500 out the door bad ass deal i mean again it's got everything i need um most dealerships were three or four k away from that and i'm super happy with it please go to el dorado they're in mckinney it's worth the drive they got blue goose next door so you get everything you want anyways y'all that's gonna be the end of the video peace